anyone is afraid to draw a leaf, like in one go, you can always start with a circle. And then a little tip, I can draw a little cutout, erase any lines I used, and any texture wrapping around. And then I'm gonna draw in the strings. I'm gonna try and, and draw like a flower shape. And I'm totally drawing outside of the lines, but it'll, it'll make more sense, I promise. Then what I can do next, I'm thinking of the message in a bottle, like hanging, hanging off, there's one message in a bottle, pine cones. So I'm just gonna start with an egg shape and then build on it. So I'm just gonna draw the details. It looks like kind of like a funky looking pine cone. I'm gonna put this upside down. Let me draw an acorn. Of course I have an acorn. And then to create variety, I just want to have some up, some down, so some are longer, some are shorter. It's like the uh, universal mushroom when you Yeah, a fossil. How can I forget? I think a fossil, and then that will be the last thing hanging off, off the dreamcatcher. So even though the fossil is geometric, um, the very simple shape would be like a circle. And then I could add the uh, geometric parts. A little bit of a line to show where the shading is going to be. A snail shell. Okay, there's our fossil. Put him on a string. Okay, here's our dreamcatcher. I'm going to give it some color. The lines. A little green as well. Okay, 